to my channel. So today's video is going to be a sexy night out summer tutorial. This um, look was inspired by this dress and it's still light out but it's about like 6 o'clock, almost 7 o'clock and I'm going out with my girls. So um, yeah, I wanted to do this look. This was inspired by the dress was, I think I just said. But anyway, I wanted to film and get this up for you guys. It's very nice. It's very different. I actually played with colors. I did a bolder lip color. It's more pinkier than um, brown, It's but it's still a nude lip. So I hope you guys enjoy it and let's get started. Alright, so starting off with my e.l.f. Um, Mineral Face Primer, I'm just going to be applying that all over my face so our foundation will stay in place. And then the next thing I'm going to do is grab my Maybelline Concealer in Deep. I'm just going to pry my eyes, and I, I used to blend it out using my fingers, but I actually used the other end of the Anastasia double-sided brush, so I'm just going to like blend that out. <laughs> and also bring it underneath my eyes so the shadow that we put on our lower lash line will stay even longer and not move. And I'm going to grab Buttery, and I'm just going to set my eyes with that color. You lift my heart up when the rest of me is down. You, you and... And then reaching into my e.l.f. Um, eyeshadow palette, I'm going to grab that cool brown shade, which is barely there, but I'm still going to use it until it's all gone. And I'm going to use that as my transition shade. And now grabbing Dusty Rose, I'm going to be putting that right on top of that. We're going to be laying a lot of different colors just so we have depth and so our smoky eye doesn't look messy. Like a bunch of colors are thrown in there and we have a black eye. We want it to blend nicely and look very smooth and everything. So it's going to take a lot of building up colors and blending. Now I'm going to take Punch Fuchsia and I'm just going to dip my brush in one time and apply that all over my crease just so we have that pretty purple effect. And then now going in with Orange You Fancy and using a synthetic brush from Eagle Tools, I'm going to put that all over my lid. And now I'm going to go back and blend the shadows together using my um, fluffy brush and I dipped it back in that brown eyeshadow. Now taking blue velvet from the palette as well, I'm going to just define my outer V. And now I'm taking my um, e.l.f. Uh, blending brush, I believe, and I'm just going to blend that out just so it doesn't look like a chunk of dark color on the side. I want it to fade in with the rest of the colors on my lid. And now I'm just going to tight line using a black eyeliner. Now going in with my NYC Liquid Eyeliner in Black. Love this eyeliner. I use it in every tutorial. I'm just going to be creating a simple wing. And I haven't done wing eyeliner in a long time, so I decided just to film it. Um, usually I do it off camera, but I'm doing a different technique. So if you guys want to see how I do my winged eyeliner now, which is definitely a lot easier, I will do a tutorial on it. Just comment down below. And I'm just taking a little bit of mascara just to prep my eyelashes for the falsies we are going to be using. Mm -hmm. 
But I'm going to move on to my face before I finish my eyes to let the mascara dry. I'm taking my Maybelline foundation and the color Toffee and I'm spraying my Real Technique um, beauty sponge just with some water and I'm going to blend that in. Close your eyes, don't act like you're so surprised Feel the silk against your skin, let the games begin, yeah Relax, close your eyes, relax, close your eyes, relax and now I'm just going to be cream contouring. I'm taking the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in the color uh, Mocha, I believe. I'll have the right name. Uh, I'll have the right name linked down below. And I'm just going to be putting it on all the places I would contour with powder. Relax, close your eyes, close your eyes, close your eyes, close your eyes. And I'm just going to blend that in using my Elf stipple brush. I know I was using that for foundation before, but this is honestly the perfect blending brush. I have so much control on where the product goes, even if I contour with powder bronzer. It's just the best. And as you can see, I have too much product there, so I'm just going to take some off using my Real Techniques um, Beauty Sponge. It also really helps blend it out more and just take the excess product off that I don't want there. And I'm just going to set my foundation with the Maybelline Translucent Powder using a Equal Tools Fluffy Brush. And then I'm going to go in and set my contour using my e.l.f. Complexion Brush and the same Translucent Powder. And then taking the first color from the e.l.f. blush palette, I'm just going to apply that for a nice wash of color. And then I'm just going to be highlighting using the first eyeshadow from the Maybelline's Nudes palette, Nothing New. And then I'm also going to highlight my Cupid's bow as well. And now I'm just going to quickly fill in my eyebrows using the e.l.f. eyeliner and coffee as if that's something new too. <laughs> And then I'm just going to set my eyebrows using the e.l.f. Eyebrow Gel in Clear. And now I'm just going to be applying some falsies. I'm using the Revlon Natural Lashes. Love these. These are perfect for this type of look. They go great with a smoky eye. And it was kind of hard getting it on camera, but I just wanted to show you guys how I apply them. Because it's been a while since I wore falsies and showed me applying them in a tutorial, so yeah. <laughs> And all the shadows we used on our eyes, I'm going to put them on my lower lash line except Blue Velvet. So I'm putting Orange You Fancy, Punch Fuchsia, and Dusty Rose. And that's it. And now I'm quickly going to get dressed. Bam. And now we're going to do our lips. I'm putting on Rimmel London's Nodding Nude Hill Lipstick. And on top of that, I'm putting on the Wet n Wild Liquid uh, Lipstick in I Can Bear It. And then after that dries, I'm going to be applying a little bit of lip gloss by Wet n Wild as well. I'll have the name linked down below. And that's the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you guys want to see more color makeup tutorials, let me know what you want to see. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.